Hey guys, I'm Sandeep Sindas and welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I am back with the another review video of the Prestige Induction Cooktop. This is the Prestige Induction Cooker Box Pack. Its version number is 6.1 V3. This is the model number, how it looks like. This is the image and this is number one kitchen appliance brand. All good thing is that it is made in India product. It is Prestige branding. All other features has been highlighted and its wattage is 2200 watt. That means 200 what extra than the, any other conventional induction cooked up present right now in the market its price is near about 5000 i purchased from amazon at just rupees 3000 uh, also you can get uh, various card discount on amazon and flipkart sales uh, i think it is the highest product version of the pastries induction cooked up so here in this video I'll show you that how to control and uh, what's the pros and cons uh, what the precaution you should take and all about this video do not keep watching this video till end don't skip and also if you're new then please subscribe my channel tap the bell icon hit the like button below if you have any query please ask by commenting below i'll be happy to answer that and follow me on social media platform facebook twitter and instagram so without any further delay let's start the unboxing of the prestige induction cooktop here we go So guys here you can see this is the box pack of the pastries induction cooktop it is just recently made few weeks ago so if i talk about its unboxing there's nothing to show more to waste your time by showing a waste unboxing so um, inside it comes only the one induction uh, unit and one user manual just like this you can see so uh, first i will show that how to control how to manage and its uh, outside looks or close look then i will talk about its pros cons and should you buy this one or not its unique features on all about this so, so here this is a live look of the prestige induction cooktop peak 6.0 version 3 and i think this is the highest model of prestige induction series here it is looking so beautiful in black glass panel with feather touch concealed control panel beautifully designed everything i have seen other brands like habels bajaj usa pigeon yes they may be more slimmer but not powerful like this prestige model however whole glass panel is made with micro crystal material it can handle extreme heat and any little bit shock but extra shock can obviously break the panel so use carefully as it is glass panel at my previous 3.0 induction it was written that the glass is certified from switzerland but at this pick 6.0 there is no such thing written also glass is little bit prone to scratches but not totally so here is the big prestige bending twice with indicator circle for heating area it supports any non-stick die cast cookware with induction base top or vessel with copper base make sure the base of the vessel is 12 centimeter to 26 centimeter in diameter for better result and long lasting always use prestige non-stick induction compatible cookware also no concave or convex vessel is supported so it has inbuilt power saver and patent whistle counter technology i'm gonna say you about this technologies later in this video so stay tuned and keep watching so here this is the uh, control panel which you can see make sure your hot cooker doesn't come contact of the control panel which will damage the control panel now if you look at the side then it has very surface design with big vents every side and it has 16 ampere 3 pin power cord below there are the warranty and serial number stickers don't remove it and removing those stickers can cause the void of warranty it has extended cooling system as a part of the feature big cooling fan has been placed at the below which makes the system totally cool during your use so always switch up from the control panel then wait for a few minutes and when the fan is turned up then only switch off from the main board so this is the induction cooktop where magnetic force wave is generated from its induction coil which comes out from the panel and hits the cookware to cook the food just no fire or heating coil inside always plug it at a dedicated power source which can handle 16 ampere power load don't use with any other appliances or from extension board which can make Make short circuit at your home also keep your induction at cool flat and dry place and avoid extreme heated or moisture or wet area also don't place any cloth or paper between your vessel and induction surface so here you can see i have placed my induction on a piece of clean dry flat glass and below there is enough gap to pass the air to make the system stay cool uh, so now let's switch in the induction and see how it performs 
you can see it is now switched on and in standby mode mean it is ready to start the cooking which you can see in the small display area as usual it gives a beep alert at every function now here i have placed a still pot for demo purpose so i am just switching it on from control panel pressing the on or off button marked with big red almost half circle so you can see now it is switched on and led is glowing but it is not heating so to start a heating effect you have to select the specific menu after switching it on from the six preset menu buttons like pressure cook mode curry salt heat milk idli or deep fry to select just touch the menu button now once and pressing again and again it will rotate in between six preset menu options. so select the menu option which item you want to cook here i am boiling the water so pressure cook mode is ideal here it is showing default water is, is being used 1300 watt out of 2200 watt total power so you can increase the total power up to 2200 watt and decrease the power uh, up to 100 watt by pressing the plus or minus button as per your need obviously cooking in higher voltage it will consume more power than the cooking in low voltage so here interesting is heat milk mode you can see it is now in heat milk mode so this is now showing only 80 degree temperature and it is fixed so you cannot increase or decrease the temperature at heating milk mode 80 degree is ideal for heating milk it will not make your milk overflow from the pot additionally you can use timer function at every mode to make the cooking or heating switch stop after that specific time also can select idli mode when you are making idli or deep fry mode when you are frying any spices papad bada or french fry or just like that kind of similar item so another thing that here it has paused the heating function suppose in between your cooking you need a break or want to replace the pot with another pot then just pause the heating by touching the pause button which will pause the heating until you are coming back or ready to cook you don't need to turn off totally so that will save your power too again touching on the pause button it will start the heating also a long touch for about two seconds it will show the total power consumed by this induction since it is turned on here you can see it has consumed up to three units since i have turned this induction just to demonstrate you so that's obviously good feature uh, i like these types of feature personally so for timer function just select any cooking mode and set your timer by touching the timer button touching once it will activate the 10 minutes cooking timer and touching again and again it will increase the time also you can preset the induction automatically turn on time by pressing the preset button suppose you want to turn on the induction after one hour so touch the preset button twice and it will be activated it is another good features too also you can select dosa or chapati mode directly when cooking dosa roti chapati or parasa here temperature or timer cannot be fixed manually and it is already fixed at ideal level here another patent technology from pistis that is unique from any other brands that is the whistle preset button which automatically counts the preset number of whistled and goes on automatically at keep or mode to save your power just place the pressure cooker on the top of the induction switch on and select the total whistle you want from the whistle preset buttons as per your need you can set up to 15 whistles at a time so that's kind of good and unique technology from pastis but also it has some limitations make sure there are no other pressure cooker is being used side by side or any other noise which will give barrier to count the whistle by this induction also the whistle blowing time there it will have to be longer than three seconds with clean valve another feature is that it has inbuilt child lock feature if you have child in your house or want to avoid any types of accidental touch on the control panel you can set the child lock mode to set the child lock mode just touch the plus and minus button together that will confirm you by showing the ch.lo on the display means it is on child lock mode and here no function will work except the switch on off button if you touch the plus and minus button together again it will deactivate the child lock mode so here you can see how fast it is heating so the heating time depends on the type of cookware being used or at the what is you are cooking so it has very uh, sensitive sensor that can detect that the pot is supported or not or is there any pot over the induction or not so quickly
सो द क्लीनिंग प्रोसेस इज वेरी सिंपल यू नीड टू कीप योर इंडक्शन क्लीन आफ्टर टोटल कुकिंग इज डन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग योर फाइनल क्लीनिंग मस्ट मेक्स यूर यू हैव टर्न अप द पावर एज आई सेड एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ दिस वीडियो देन गिव एट लीस्ट थर्टी मिनट्स टू कूल डाउन द सर्फेस और ग्लास सर्फेस वन द ग्लास सर्फेस इज टोटली कूल देन टेक अ पीस ऑफ सॉफ्ट वेट कॉटन क्लॉथ और स्मॉल सॉफ्ट टावल एंड रॉप ओवर द ग्लास सर्फेस जेंटली एंड सॉफ्टली थ्रू आउट द होल एरिया आफ्टर दैट विद एंड देन टेक अनदर पीस ऑफ ड्राई सॉफ्ट कॉटन क्लॉथ और टावल टू वाइप वाटर थ्रोली अंटिल इट इज बींग ड्राइड फ्रॉम द सर्फेस देन लिव समाइम इन एयर एंड आफ्टर दैट यू कैन कॉवर इफ यू वेस but before cleaning always make sure the glass surface is totally cool and at the room temperature if you clean with wet cloth at the hot condition that there's a chance it can break the glass easily on must part of on the main circuit board in the meantime of cook if there is any spill over on the panel wipe with dry soft cotton cloth immediately and don't use any types of wet cloth in between your use also make sure there are no watery or liquid thing in between your induction panel and vessel Now if I talk about what you shouldn't do or you should take care before using this induction so uh, mainly uh, you should be sure that there is no high voltage coming through your outlet and you are using from a dedicated plug source not from a extension cord or with any other appliances also don't use this induction cooktop near any types of extensive heat source or in a watery condition don't place the induction on any types of cloth or don't place any type of paper or cloth between the vessel and induction that has the chance and uh, to caught fire or burnt and also don't place your vessel empty place only with food and don't uh, run without any food or oil also don't use this induction cooktop when the glass is broken immediately take to your service center right. so there are lots of uh, error comes so how to troubleshoot when it gives this types of error you should take uh this types of action so it gives e0 error when there is no vessel or uh, the vessel is not supported by the induction so make sure you are using only induction friendly vessel if it gives e1 error on the screen that means it it is on the that means it is running on the low voltage so wait until the voltage is becoming normal if it gives an e2 error then it means it is on high voltage so uh, just wait until the voltage is becoming normal if it gives e3 and e7 error then it means the glass temperature on the glass surface or glass side temperature is too much high just switch off your uh, induction wait until it is cooling the surface then switch it on again if it's giving e4 or e6 e8 or e9 that means it has a sensor problem so take it immediately to your nearest service center with your warranty card and bill if it gives e5 error that means its sensor temperature is too much high just switch off wait for minutes and it will become all normal so uh, so guys should you buy or not so uh, pros is everything pros i didn't find any types of the negative points from my side because i am using this since last one week and i am doing this review after use of one week so uh, mainly i found the in the con section that it doesn't count the whistle if your um, pressure cooker because whistle is below 3 seconds so that's maybe the um, cons or negative points but as a positive points it has a power saver technology it has a whistle uh, counter technology and uh, it has also high temperature and uh, high voltage protection and uh, it has also 200 watt extra than any other uh, conventional induction right now present in the market also it has a anti magnetic wall to uh, heat at the center it has also uh, feather touch buttons the micro crystal panel it has also more indian menu and it is made in india products so when you are getting at 3000 then obviously you should go if if you have that budget obviously you should go also you can additionally get the various card discounts on amazon and flipkart sale So that's the good uh, induction uh, from the Pestis, and it is the number one kitchen appliance brand. As I say that I am using Pestis induction since 2011, so more than near about nine years. So I am very satisfied with the Pestis induction. That's why I purchase again this Pestis induction uh, 6.1. 
for myself because the recently glass was broken due to some issues by uh, one of my niece so that's kind of thing so uh, if you are interested at this product you should go obviously no matter this is obviously great product it has a very unique features than any other um, uh, brands like like habel bajaj usha something like that uh, also prisons this is a good band it comes with a one year's warranty so you should keep your warranty card and bill if any malfunctions happens you should take to your nearest service center okay so that's all the thing uh, about this precious induction cooktop i hope you liked it if you found this video helpful then please hit the like button below to subscribe my channel and tap the bell icon share with your friends and family and you can ask any technical query regarding this induction cooktop peak 6.1 v3 so guys i hope to catch you in my next video till then take care i was sandeep sindas shining off have a great day bye